Pug is very unique looking dog. They look like they are from some kind of a cartoon. You either love the appearance or you hate it. But this video will not only be about the appearance. In this video I will tell you what are the pros and cons of owning a pug. Let's not waste your time and let's jump into the pros. The first advantage would be that they are amazing for apartment living. Pug is not that active dog or they are not total couch potatoes but they are not the most hyperactive dogs either. So because of that they are good for seniors or not so active people. They are also pretty easily trainable at least if we are talking about the basic commands like sit, lie down, come etc etc. Because of that they are a great choice for novice dog owners. Pugs are very friendly, loving, they love to cuddle, they are very affectionate and they will make you smile every single day. Because of that they are also a great choice for families with kids. Your kids will love the pug and the pug will love the kids. And they are not only kid friendly dogs, they also like strangers and other dogs as well. I said they are not so active but they will love to go for a walk with you which is another great thing because with their appearance at least for me when I see a pug I see a lazy dog based on their appearance but it is not a true they will love to go for a walk with you and they are very playful so they will love to play all kinds of games they will love to play fetch chasing tug of war and honestly any other game you can think of they are really really playful dogs Great thing is that you can read Pug's emotions quite easily. If they are sad, happy or excited, you can tell. And quite often Pug's emotions will be the same as yours. If you are sad, the Pug will lay next to you all day long. And if you are happy, they will happily jump around you or play with you. The last bigger advantage or more important advantage is that pugs are easy to groom. They really don't need much grooming or buffing, only if necessary. Of course you need to take care of their ears, eyes, nails, etc. But again, only if it's needed. Now let's talk about the cons. There are two big disadvantages of owning a pug. The first one is their health and the second one is their shedding. Let's talk about the first one which is their health. Pugs are prone to many diseases especially to infections and respiratory problems. It's because of their face. Their bul bulgy eyes are prone to eye infection. Their short nose is prone to respiratory problems. Be prepared to pay a lot of money for veterinary bills when you get a pug. Pugs also suffer from separation anxiety because they tend to attach to humans a lot and also from obesity. It's important to not overfeed a pug. Choose low calorie treats and feed him only by the labels on your dog food. Always read the labels and amount of dog food your pug should eat always. Never give him human food, never give him food from table, never. This is wrong especially for breed that is obese a lot like a pug. But luckily separation anxiety and obesity are manageable. So you must be but you must be very consistent and patient. There are some tricks for separation anxiety like don't do long goodbyes when you are leaving the home or turn on the radio in your home when you are away. But this video is not about separation anxiety. That would be for another video and you can but I'm sure you can find a lot of material online on this topic. I said there are two big disadvantages, the health, we just talked about it, and their shedding, which is topic for now. Pugs are very heavy shedders. Don't be fooled by their short coat because they have double coat. They are double coated dogs and they shed all year long. I read somewhere that uh, everything that Pug touches practically turns into pug itself because it's covered by their fur and I think that is that is very true. Pugs are not good for hot climate areas because they can overheat easily. Actually they can overheat by a lot of exercise also. So if you live in places like Florida, India, South Europe, Africa and places like that with, uh, with high temperatures I would recommend you not to buy a pug. But pugs are also not good for very cold areas. They do best in 
in regions with average temperatures. I said in the video that bugs tend to attach to humans very closely, which is true and for a lot of, for most of people it's cute, but for some people this can quickly turn into disadvantage. Bugs will go everywhere where you go, to the kitchen, to the television, to the bathroom, just everywhere. They love you so much that for some people it might get annoying. It's like double-edged sword. For some people uh, it's big advantage that they love them and they attach to them. But for some people it might be disadvantage, especially when they are not prepared for that. Tell me in comments what is your favorite thing about Pug, what is their biggest advantage. If you are new on this channel consider subscribing, turn the notifications on and check our Instagram and Facebook, links are in description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.